Welcome to Mary Brandon Park. My name is Leah Rockwell. I'm the Director of Parks and Recreation, and we are so excited to have this beautiful playground behind us and some kids that are going to christen it for us. I mean, really christen it for us. So um, with that being said, we do have a very special guest here who is going to um, be the person in charge of our ribbon cutting, and that is our mayor, Mr. Keith Mayor Keith James. Thank you so much, Leah. There's only one correction when you said I'm in charge of the ribbon cutting. That's a little bit of an understatement. You know, you tell me where to go and when to use the scissors. But anyway, thank you very much, uh, everyone, for coming. Uh, welcome, and particularly to our kids. And I'm going to try to talk real quick so you don't get rained on, because that would be horrible to have the mayor talking while kids are getting rained on in the background. I, I don't think that visual will go over too well. Um, I don't see any of the commissioners here, uh, but we do have some very special guests. Uh, a warm welcome to representatives from area neighborhood associations and the residents who are joining us today. A uh, particular shout out to Michael Oldham, who is uh, with the Parks and Recreation Advisory Committee. Mr. Oldham, thank you so much for coming. Um, and a special acknowledgement, uh, we do have Susan Miller, who is the great niece of Mary Brandon, but there are also other members of the family here. Your brother's here, and if anyone is related to uh, Mary Brandon, please hold up your hand so we give you a nice round of applause. Thank you so much for coming. I know your brother came from the West Coast of Florida. Thank you, sir. We really appreciate your being here. And, and, you're, you're, and you're from where? Right here, what's right here. Well, thank you for coming as well, and, and thank all the members of the family. This is truly a grand occasion, and I would be remiss if I didn't mention uh, the, the head of uh, the city's Parks and Recreation Department, Leah Rockwell. Thank you for all you do. Uh, Rudy, a shout out to you and uh, uh, the wonderful team, uh, everybody who's involved in making our city so much fun, and of course Armando Fana, who is uh, our assistant uh, city administrator. Uh, thank you for being here, and thanks for all your hard work on this project. Uh, we like to say in the city, it all starts with the parks. And what I've learned um, is that if each neighborhood has just a place, uh, a public space, where families, kids, parents can convene, and, and meet, it makes that neighborhood much more of a community. And this is a, a very fine example of that today. So we're celebrating the Mary Brandon Park Playground Replacement and the park improvements. Uh, today has been a very long time coming and we couldn't be any happier for the kids, the families, and the residents who will all be enjoying these upgrades. So a few uh, highlights, uh, we have two new playgrounds that were purchased and installed and now open to the public. Uh, as you will notice, they feature a rubber safety surface, shade coverings, and swings. Uh, and then we also had some other park upgrades. Behind you, we had the resurfacing of the basketball courts. Uh, we restriped the parking lot, and there is a new entry gate uh, to the park. Uh, in fiscal year 2018-2019, on this park alone, we spent $280,000. And that money came from the city's public work bonds fund. And to give you an idea how much we do emphasize parks throughout the city, uh, over uh, between 2016 and 2021, the city has spent $23 million uh, on parks and recreation improvements. Uh, again, we see that parks and public spaces are essential uh, to having a, a livable city. Um, when I campaign, uh, I campaign on the idea that uh, West Palm Beach would be community, it would be resident driven, neighborhoods first, and it's my vision to make West Palm Beach a community of opportunity for all. Uh, and again, this is an example of that. We are creating a, creating a customer friendly culture uh, that focuses on our neighborhoods. Uh, again, thank you to Susan Miller, uh, a great niece of Mary Brandon who was here. Um, she describes her great aunt as someone who was very active in her community and politics. 
She was something of a pioneer, being a woman and being so business and civic minded. And I did learn some history uh, about Mary Brandon um, uh, on, on, on the way here. Uh, actually, I spent all weekend researching Mary. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's almost true. Um, she was born in Michigan in 1882, and she moved with her husband to Dade County in 1910. And then in 1916, she and her husband, Arthur Brandon, uh, uh, moved to West Palm Beach. And they founded Brandon Transfer and Storage in 1919, uh, which is purportedly the oldest moving company in Palm Beach County. 100 years old this year. 100 years old this year. Now, unfortunately, only three years after they moved here, Arthur died. And so uh, Mary ran the business for decades. And if you can remember the political, well, none of us remember, but if you have knowledge of the, of the business climate and political climate, then that was very unusual for a woman to be running a successful business of that size. So she was indeed a pioneer. Uh, she was very active in the West Palm Beach Chamber of Commerce, the State Democratic Party, and she even shared uh, the city's recreation commission. Uh, and she passed away in April of 1963. Uh, Herbert Lewis, her nephew, and Susan Miller's father uh, bought the company in the early 1950s, and he and the children still operate it. As Susan said, it's 100 years old this year. So again, congratulations, uh, everyone involved, whether it's the community that, that gave input, Leah, uh, your, you and your team for putting together such a fine project, and let's cut a ribbon on a very great part. Thank you all for coming. One, two. Three. Woo! Yeah!